Hello everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is the last day of barbecue week. We've made it, we've done it. I have given you all kinds of different recipes, main dishes, side dishes, dessert, and today we're doing a drink. We have never done a drink recipe on the channel before, on the blog, so I'm really excited for it. Now look, I am not well versed in cocktails, okay? I know what I like. I drink White Claws, I drink tequila, I have rosé once in a while and a beer, okay? I'm a pretty simple <laughs> girl, but I love, love, love anything spicy and with tequila in the summer. So this isn't like, it's kind of like a Paloma. It's kind of like a margarita. It's like if both of them had a baby together. I don't think we can call it a Paloma because it doesn't have a grapefruit soda in it. And I don't think we can call it a margarita because it doesn't have orange liqueur in it. So I don't know. I'm calling it the spicy grapefruit, okay? It's like if a Paloma and a margarita had a baby. That's what we're thinking of it as. It's easy to make. It's delicious. And it's a really light, refreshing drink. I didn't put too much tequila in it. On my blog, there's um, recipes for a single serving and for a pitcher as well. And if you don't drink alcohol, just leave it out. You could pop in a little bit of club soda or something in there. It's still light, refreshing, delicious, easy to make. The longer it sits around, the more the jalapeno will infuse in it. So just keep that in mind if you don't like things super spicy. It's rimmed with a tahini salt and it is delicious. If you like Barbecue Week, if you liked it, please make sure to like these videos. Make sure to interact with them. It really, really helps me to know. And if you want more series, ideas and things like this definitely let me know down below we were thinking maybe to do like a pasta week or a tofu week or something like that next you guys seem interested in that from yesterday's video if you didn't check out any of the barbecue week recipes yet go check them out they're delicious i worked really hard on them to give you guys great recipes to kick off summer with but of course we're gonna have more so thank you so much for being here thank you for being with me this week and let's get into this drink so the first thing we're gonna do is make a tahini salt for rimming our glass so we're gonna take a tablespoon of coarse sea salt and a teaspoon of tahini and tahini is just like a chili lime seasoning and we're just going to mix them together i'm pretty sure they sell like tahini salts already made in the store if you want to just buy that instead but as you can see it literally takes five seconds set that to the side now i'm squeezing my limes and i'm going to pick the best lime of the bunch and that's our winner right there and i'm going to take one jalapeno for our drink if you don't like things super spicy you can use less jalapeno it's just it comes down to preference i'm going to cut my lime in half i do apologize my table was very wobbly and then i'm going to thinly slice that whole jalapeno because for me one jalapeno like a smaller one in a drink is totally fine and if you're using larger jalapenos, you might want to use half. Then we're going to cut up our grapefruit. I'm just going to cut a few little pieces and I'm going to cut those nice slices in half actually so that way they fit in my glass better. And I just love all the colors together. It looks so pretty. So there we go. Now let's make our drink. We're going to take one and a half ounces of a silver tequila and I'm pouring that in my shaker. If you don't have a shaker, you can just use a jar with a lid or just mix it in a glass. Then we're going to squeeze half of a lime into there. I like to use fresh lime juice for this, not a like store-bought. I go into that in the blog post. Then we're going to take a teaspoon of agave nectar, pour that in there for a little bit of added sweetness, and six ounces of grapefruit juice, which this is actually store-bought. So again, check out the blog post for my reasonings behind this. Then we're going to add in a few ice cubes, pop our lid on the shaker, and just shake it up. Super simple and easy. Now we're just going to take that lime that we squeezed. I always save it, and then that way I can use it to rim the glass, and then we can just twirl it around in our teen salt. So pretty. Love that. Looks gorgeous. Then I'm going to add my jalapeno slices in there. I'm going to add some grapefruit slices, some ice cubes, pour our drink in. Gorgeous. I just love the color of this. It's really, it's so pretty. And then you can top it with really whatever garnish you like. I'm going to do a few more jalapeno slices and a little bit of lime and that's it. How beautiful is that? This is not an overly strong drink. You can definitely add more tequila if you like. I want it to keep it a little bit lighter and simple. And it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's refreshing, it's delicious. It's the perfect summer cocktail, in my opinion. Cheers. All right, everyone, and that was our drink recipe. Thank you so much for being with me here this week. Like I said earlier, full run out recipes on the blog. You can find all the ingredients listed in the description box down below, as well as the links for my social media, cookbook, podcast, everything you want to know is down there. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. If you like my videos, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Helps channel out, helps us to grow and spread more vegan recipes. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week with another video.